So here we are at the center of the boardwalk on um, 24th Street in this, this historic icon of Virginia Beach. This is the original life-saving station from 1903. Now remember, the first station was built in 1878. And again, that's the life-saving service responding to the shipwreck need. This first station right here at the oceanfront, second after the Cape Henry station. And the little blow up here of that station kind of shows its very distinct architecture. You see the single surf boat that's outside that the crews would use. The service becomes so successful, you see it get a lot of momentum and a lot of funding in the early part of the 20th century. And this is the building I'm talking to you from right now. This is the 1903 Life Saving Station. And these stations were all upgraded through the late 19th and early 20th century. And this was the modern station of its time. Now this station grows with the success of the service. The service becomes so successful, this is what becomes the United States Coast Guard. And remember, it merges. You had the United States Life Saving Service and the Division of the Revenue Cutter Service. And those organizations merge in 1915 and become today what we still call the United States Coast Guard. When you look at this photograph of that period, these men are no longer in the United States Life Saving Service, they're Coast Guardsmen. And they're standing in front of what's been redesignated Coast Guard Station, Virginia Beach. Now this station, through its success, had one more big change. And that was the introduction of a new lookout tower. And the, the Coast Guard itself just modernized the building in 1933. And that's the shape the building still has today. A lot of folks in Virginia Beach remember the United States Coast Guard as a central point, a central figure here on the boardwalk. Tourists used to watch the Coasties drill. Uh, you see these pretty cool photographs from the middle of the century, 1950s. Some of the other ones you looked at are from the middle part of the 1960s. And this very proud station stands right at the center of tourism, right at the boardwalk as it still, as it still does today. And by the time it was the middle of the century, this kind of station, simply because of its size, and that it couldn't manage powered boats uh, became outdated. They did have amphibious craft here, but by the time you got into the 1960s, the station had outlived its real value in coastal patrol. And the Coast Guard finally decommissioned this building as a station in January of 1969. Doors closed, fence put around it, and that's when this very beautiful piece of architecture, it's its future was in doubt. 